Welcome to Text to Nation. Joining us is Nick Harris, Vice President of Sales and Marketing at a company called WaterGen, W-A-T-E-R-G-E-N. Thanks for joining us, Nick. Thank you very much, Fred, and uh, thanks for having me on the show. We're going to talk about your cool new product in, in just a minute, but first give us a little background about the company. Yeah, so WaterGen was founded uh, 10 years ago, and our, our mission, our vision, really is to provide every man, woman, and child with access to fresh, clean drinking water. And how do we do that? We have cracked the code, if you will, on the uh, technology that actually extracts water from the air, making it pretty much available uh, anywhere and everywhere on demand and uh, at an affordable cost. So that's what we've been doing for the past 10 years. And we're pretty excited to be bringing that technology to um, households in the U.S. in 2020. Households and offices, and it's with a product called Jenny, which is uh, receiving an Innovations Award from the Consumer Electronics Show for 2020. Describe this for us. Yeah, so Jenny is is really um, sort of the manifestation of all of our 10 years of uh, R&D. Um, consider Jenny a replacement for a uh, water jug or a water cooler that you'd have in your home or in your office. Basically, it's your ability to make your own drinking water in home. Um, and it uses this innovative um, patented um, technology, we call it Genius, that can extract up to seven gallons um, a day of drinking water for your office or for your, uh, for your home. And uh, it, does it does it exactly from the air. There's no piping, no plumbing required. And there's a series of filters inside the Jenny that make the water taste fresh and clean every time somebody uses it. So we're pretty excited about the technology. Uh, we think it's super convenient. We think it's got a tremendous ROI. And, and I think you know, the biggest benefit is getting away from single-use plastics that people are very concerned about and we should be concerned about. And, and secondly, it, it sort of breaks the, the bond between our dependency on municipal water supplies. So you're, you're kind of off the grid, if you will, and your ability to create your own water has a lot of value. Very, very interesting. You know, some people are going to hear this and say, well, boy, that sounds like a dehumidifier. So tell us, tell us how this works and, and what the differences might be. Yeah, you know, and it's, it's a fair point. I mean, the technology, it is, it is. Um, you know, essentially a way of dehumidifying the air. But what, what's special and what's taken us um, years to, to master is to how to do that, obviously using food-grade technology, um, as well as making it efficient. You know, typically if you're just dehumidifying to create drinking water, the efficiencies aren't there. WaterGen and Jenny have been able to do that and, and create water from air in an efficient Way. And then that really is sort of the, the secret sauce, if you will, of what makes this, this special. And uh, there's a lot of um, electronics and um, um, sort of smart IoT parts of this as well, which optimize on an ongoing basis how Jenny is actually utilizing and creating water in any environment. Um, and that's really what we've been doing. And as I said, Jenny, Jenny is the um, sort of the first household appliance. Um, and office appliance that uh, brings this technology to everybody. Now, is the filter that you're using, is that something that needs to be replaced? How does this all come together? Yeah, great question. Because it's generating water and it generates it all the time, so the, the, the water circulates in a, um, in a tank, and then as it's become available, it actually goes through a series of filters. So there's a sediment filter, there's um, different particle filters, there's actually a, a UV lamp in there, to make sure the water is fresh and clean at, at all times. So every six months, um, there is a filter kit which will be made available, and uh, it's easy to replace. It's like replacing uh, an air filter in your uh, in your furnace, if you will, that easy. And, and this ensures that the water remains clean and fresh um, at all times. Now we, we want to apologize a little bit. Cell phone signal is. We're, we're sometimes the victims of, uh, of, of the quality there, but uh, we're able to get what you're saying here. So this can produce up to 30 liters a day. Now, is that dependent 
on the humidity, the environment that, that you're in? Is, in other words, is it going to be different in Louisiana from Arizona? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, it, 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 it is uh, dependent on the relative humidity in the home. The benefit of um, Jenny is that it's optimized for most um, North American homes and offices. So um, it won't necessarily produce uh, 30 liters. So if you've got a very low, humid, dry office environment, it'll be at the lower end of that scale. Um, but it is engineered and designed for um, for every household. But the output will be dependent on that relative humidity um, that's in the home. And, you know, if it's around 25 degrees relative, the relative humidity perspective, your jetty is making water. How much power does it consume? So we, we calculate the, the power um, based on per liter of water, which is the metric we use for efficiency and uh, it can create one liter of water for as little as 0.3 kilowatt hours. So that therein is sort of where we have a distinct advantage over a lot of um, systems because it is efficient. And, uh, um, and, and obviously the other part about Jenny, which we're excited about, is it can be um, attached to a, um, a solar array. And um, literally then you are, powering your water generation totally off the grid through the use of solar panels. So it doesn't use an awful lot of um, electricity to do this. Is there potential for using this in like an RV environment as well? Uh... Yeah. Actually, there's one of the other aspects of water gen, one of the actual um, sex sectors that we are, uh, we've been involved in is automotive. And, um, we, we've been actually working with um, Ford and with other um, companies in um, providing onboard um, fresh water, if you will, for, uh, for marine, for, for automotive, for RVs, for, um, for all of those applications. And uh, that's a pretty exciting part of um, a pretty fast growing part of our company as well. So, um, so that's, that's something that we'll be um, showing some aspects of. Um, at CES um, this year or next year. Tell us, you've mentioned return on investment a a few times. Give us what the picture would look like for a typical office environment or for households. Yeah, so, you know, if you're comparing this to a typical five-gallon water cooler, um, you're looking at your money back in an office environment in around 20 to 22 months. Um, for a typical home environment, it's, it's going to be around three years, three and a half years before you will see realize sort of the full return on your initial investment. But once you've um, gone through all of those things, then you're, you're pretty much owning your, uh, your own water supply at that point in time, whereas um, in other applications, you'd be dependent on monthly water bills or monthly water jug costs. So that's, that's the ROI as we see. And that takes into account uh, the, the filter replacement costs and power consumption as well? Correct. It does, yeah. Now, your, your filter replacement, you'll still after that um, period of, you know, when, when the unit's paid for itself, you'll still be changing the filters every six months. And the approximate cost of those filter kits all in is $150. When will people, people be able to buy this and for about how much? Yeah, so the, the units will be shipping in the um, first half of uh, 2020, the same Q2 2020. Um, the retail on the unit will be uh, $2,200. And uh, we are working with um, channel partners to make sure this is available both in-store um, and online. So for more information, where do we go? For more information, you can go to our website, www.watergen.com. Dot com, and uh, we'll certainly be uh, hopefully see some folks at uh, our CES exhibits. We're booth number 43146, so we look forward to seeing people there too. Terrific. And again, it's spelled W A T E R G E N dot com. Nick Harris, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you very much, Brad. Really appreciate the time. Cooking with the Power of the Song. 
Hi, I'm Fred Fishkin here to tell you about the latest innovation from my friend Patrick Sherwin and his great team at GoSun Stove. The GoSun Fusion has arrived using the company's tried and true reflectors and a solar vacuum tube to get you cooking without the mess of charcoal, heavy propane tanks, or smoke. A really bright idea. And with an optional solar panel and battery storage and the ability to plug in at home or on the road, you really can use the GoSun Fusion to cook anytime and anywhere, day or night, rain or shine. I love what Patrick and his team are doing, and so will you. Want to learn more? Head to GoSun.co to check out all of the company's products and innovations, and use the code TEXTINATION to save 10%. That's GoSun.co. Thank you.